Hi, welcome. I am so glad that you are here. You are smart, you are funny, and you are a great cook. Welcome to Cooking with Jesus. I provide easy and yummy recipes as well as share with you who you are as a born again believer in Jesus Christ. I post a new video every Friday. If this is something you want, will you hit the subscribe button? I would love for you to join our YouTube family. Today, we are doing something super duper duper awesome. Today, I am showing you creative ways to use either canned biscuit dough or two ingredient biscuit dough, which is how I'm gonna be making my recipes. Add one cup of self-rising flour and a half a cup to one cup of either milk or heavy cream. If you don't have self-rising flour, no worries. I normally just make it myself. It's one cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Once your dough gets to the consistency shown in the video, you're gonna roll it out. You can use your hands or a rolling pin. Then you are going to cut your dough into 16 pieces. It's okay if they're not perfectly equal. Next, you are going to take four ounces of fresh mozzarella, cut it into 16 pieces, and then take each piece and wrap it around one piece of the biscuit dough. I declare in the name of Jesus and because of Jesus, as a born again believer in Jesus Christ, you are healthy, healed, and whole. You are in the best shape of your life. You are fit, firm, and fabulous. You like how you look in the mirror. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees and place a half a stick of butter in the oven to melt. Then, once that butter is melted, add to it two tablespoons of garlic powder and one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Next, you are going to stick those delicious mozzarella biscuit bombs into the butter and seasoning sauce. Place in the oven and cook until the biscuit dough is done. Then take out and cover with four ounces of cheddar cheese. Then place back in the oven until the cheddar cheese is melted. Top with delicious Parmesan cheese and some salt and pepper and some parsley on top for garnish. Wow, these look delicious. Wow, look at that cheese pull. Oh my goodness. This is just so good. You can taste, oh my gosh, look at that cheese. Look at that cheese pull. Look at that cheese pull. Oh my gosh. I love the two cheeses. I love the butter. I mean, look, look at that. Look at that butter. I love the garlic. I mean, can I eat the whole thing? Is the whole thing for me? Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. I'm having another one. This one's from the middle. It's too hot right now. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it is so good. So good. So good. Try it. To a bowl, add a quarter cup of ranch dressing, a quarter cup of sour cream, a quarter of a cup of salsa, one tablespoon of lime juice and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder or granules. Stir to combine. To this delicious and yummy sauce, add two cups of cooked and shredded chicken. Stir until every single piece of that chicken is covered by that delicious sauce. I declare in the name of Jesus and because of Jesus, you are wealthy. You leave an inheritance to your children's children. You have the wisdom to make wealth. Now it's time to make that easy two ingredient biscuit dough. Add one cup of self-rising flour, 
with half a cup to one cup of heavy cream or milk. Stir to combine. And if your dough gets a bit dry, just add a little bit more milk. Grease a muffin or cupcake tin and place the biscuit dough on the bottom of each cup. Then cover the biscuit dough with the cheese, chicken, and sauce mixture. Place in a 425 degree preheated oven until the biscuit dough is fully cooked. Probably anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes. You'll know it's done when you can stick a knife into the biscuit area and the biscuit part comes out clean. I topped mine with cheddar cheese, some more salsa, and a little lime wedge, which kind of looks like the cherry on top of our Fiesta Lime Chicken Cupcake. So cute! These look yummy and so adorable! Look at how cute it is. Squirt of that lime. Thank you, Jesus, for this meal. Wow. I mean, you make this as an appetizer, you will be the hit of the party. The biscuit is crunchy. The Fiesta Lime Chicken, I've made it before on my channel. I will link it in the description box, but that was really good. Putting it on this biscuit just takes it to another level. It's amazing. It's like the best appetizer I've ever had. I love the cupcakes because like they have that crunch on the outside of them and there's a nice amount of biscuit in it. Wait a sec, because I enjoy this. This is really good, it's easy. It's fun looking, it's different. I would definitely recommend you try this. Heat your oven to 425 degrees. Put half a stick of butter into an eight by eight baking dish and stick the butter in the oven to melt. To a bowl, add 16 ounces of unsweetened applesauce one third of a cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Stir to combine. This is our apple pie filling. Now it's time to make our super easy two ingredient biscuit dough. To a separate bowl, add one cup of self-rising flour and a half a cup to one cup of heavy cream or milk. Stir to combine. If it's a bit too dry, add a little bit more milk. If it's a bit too wet, add a little bit more self-rising flour. I typically only add a half a cup of milk when I make it, and then just add a little bit of milk a little bit of time until it is the consistency that I think is best for my biscuits. I declare in the name of Jesus and because of Jesus, you are loved, you are cherished and adored. God sees you as he created you to be, perfect and flawless as a born again believer in Jesus Christ. To a third bowl, add a half a cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of cinnamon, and an eighth to a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. The nutmeg is optional and it's really powerful. So if you've never used nutmeg before, I would suggest going a bit light on it to begin. Stir to combine. By now, your butter should be melted. Take out of the oven and spoon some of the sugar mixture into the melted butter. I scooped in about two tablespoons. Stir to combine. Okay. 
Now it's time to add that biscuit dough. Using a spoon, scoop little dollops of the biscuit dough into your baking dish. Be aware of the edges of the baking dish while doing this since they're probably hot. Put this dish to the side. Now take another half stick of melted butter and add another two tablespoons of your cinnamon sugar mixture. That's right, more butter and more cinnamon sugar. This is gonna be really good. Stir to combine. Now pour your apple pie filling, which is the applesauce, cinnamon, and sugar that we made earlier on top of those biscuits. Cover all the biscuits with that apple filling yummy deliciousness. And now get ready for it. You are going to pour on top the butter and the cinnamon and sugar. Let it get over every single inch of those delici delicious biscuits. But wait, we're not done yet. On top of that, add the rest of the cinnamon sugar mixture. Wow, this is going to be so good. Put your oven mitts on because your dish is probably still hot and bake this in the oven at 425 degrees until the biscuits are done, probably about 15 to 30 minutes. You'll know your biscuits are done when you can stick a knife in them and they come out clean. Wow, this looks so good. Look at that butter bubbling inside that dish. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for these inside out apple pie biscuits. They look so good. Oh man, that is amazing. <laughs> The apples just taste so good. I did the applesauce instead of like cut up apples and I really like that. It's just really flavorful and I feel like the apples get around the biscuit dough. The applesauce gets around the biscuit dough. Mm. Oh, the biscuits are moist and flavorful. I just got a really nice hit of butter there. Oh my gosh. I'm really loving the applesauce instead of full apples. It's almost like inside out pie because the outside is the like the applesauce and then the inside is the the dough mm. that is really good like i would prefer this over apple pie definitely add a half a stick of butter to a 9 by 13 inch baking dish and put into a oven preheated at 425 degrees to melt the butter. Now let's make our super easy two ingredient biscuit dough. To a bowl, add one cup of self-rising flour and a half a cup to one cup of milk or heavy cream. Stir to combine. To a different bowl, add one 20 ounce bag of frozen meatballs, or if you make your own, this is about three to four cups of homemade mini meatballs. Next, add one jar of your favorite pasta sauce. This is by far my favorite one. I'll link it in the description box below. And stir so that the sauce covers all the meatballs. I declare in the name of Jesus and because of Jesus, you are blessed and highly favored. You are righteous and forgiven. You are full of the truth and never deceived. By now, your butter should be melted. So take out of the oven using oven safe mitts because it will be hot and then scoop the biscuit dough on top of the butter. 
you can make the biscuits as big or as small as you want. I personally like them small. Then pour your sauce and meatballs on top of the biscuits. Use a spatula to help all the sauce and meatballs cover all the biscuits. Place in the oven and heat until the biscuit dough is completely done. You'll know it's done when you can stick a knife in the biscuit and it comes out clean. Then cover with a half a cup of shredded fresh mozzarella or a cheese of your choice. Place back in the oven until the cheese is melted. I like to top mine with some parsley for garnish. Wow, this looks really, really good. Oh my goodness, this is so good. It's so good. Oh my goodness, make this, make this, make this. It tastes so good. The meatballs, I did make my own meatballs, but they are just so delicious. That meat sauce, that Jersey gravy, that is my favorite, not a meat sauce, that's my favorite pasta sauce. It's so good. And then the cheese and the biscuits, it, that's just delicious. It's like the, the biscuit is nice because it's bready, but it's like, you want a biscuit to get like a little bit more like wet than you would bread, so to speak. And it's just, oh my gosh, it's so good. This is my favorite one that I've done so far. It's so good. I feel like I'm eating at a five-star restaurant. It was so easy. I don't know what to say. It's just so good. <laughs> mm, so good. This will definitely be going in my meal rotation. It is so Go ahead. Let's start by preheating the oven to 425 degrees, then place a half a stick of butter into an eight by eight baking dish and place the dish into the oven to melt the butter. Then you're gonna make your two ingredient biscuit dough. You're gonna combine one cup of self-rising flour with a half a cup to a whole cup of whole milk or heavy cream. Once your biscuit dough is the consistency that you like, you are going to roll your dough out and then divide into eight equal pieces or as equal as possible. Then it's time to fill these jelly biscuit donuts with some jelly. I'm using strawberry fruit spread. You are gonna add between a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of jelly onto each piece of dough. Then you're going to roll them all together. I like to take the edges and bring them over to the top and pinch them together, just like you're seeing here. In the name of Jesus and because of Jesus, as a born again believer in Jesus Christ, you are kind. You take time to smile at the people you love, including yourself. You have a beautiful smile that lights up the entire room. You bring joy to everyone you meet simply by being there. You are a natural at giving love and you're a natural at receiving love and compliments from other people. People love to compliment you because you have goodness inside of you. You have the power of God inside of you. You have the same power that raised Jesus from the dead living inside of your spirit, the third part of your being, the full, the real you. You are fully loaded. You have so much power inside of you and you have so much joy that it is exploding out of your spirit into your soul, body and world. You are a blessing everywhere you go. Now it's time to take your melted butter out of the oven. Take your jelly biscuit donuts, stick them in the butter and roll them around so that they sop up that delicious yummy butter. Then take that dish and place it back in the oven. Bake on 425 degrees until the biscuits are completely cooked through. You'll know they're done when you can stick a knife in the biscuit part and the biscuit part comes out clean. This should take anywhere between 10 and 25 minutes. Be sure to use your oven mitts when you put your dish back in the oven since it's already hot. Remove from the oven and cover with a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar.
We are trying the jelly donut. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So my favorite part is that buttery bottom. The strawberry jelly is just so good. Mm. I would say it's more of like a cake donut consistency um, than a like yeast donut consistency. Mmm, I just got a nice hit of the sugar. Definitely, definitely do the quarter cup of sugar. When you first pour it, it's going to feel like it's too much, but it's not. It's so good. I'm going to go have another one, I recommend. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found a biscuit dough recipe that works really well for your family. I truly appreciate that you took time out of your day to watch my video. There are so many videos on YouTube and it really means a lot to me that you chose to watch this video. I truly appreciate it and I thank you so much. If you'd like to become a born again believer in Jesus Christ, I have a prayer that you can pray. It's in the description box below. If you like what you saw, will you hit the thumbs up button? Also, if you'd like to see more content like this, will you hit the subscribe button? It's free to you and it notifies you when I upload new content on this channel. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Remember, you are valuable. You are kind. You are special. There is greatness inside of you.